Okay, so one of the neighbors have dropped off this lovely white DC07. I've not actually had a white DC07 before, believe it or not, but it needs repair. So I'm gonna try and diagnose a problem on camera for the first time. So here it is. Visually, I can't see anything wrong with it apart from underneath. You can see that this is loose. The brush bars belt seems to be intact, although a bit loose as well. Possibly needs a new belt. That's loose, so that needs sorting out as well. But yeah, let's switch it on and see what's wrong with it. Okay, let's see if we can handle this dry soil mess on the floor. Okay, so, as you can see, it's cleaned up majority of the dirt, but not properly, it still left bits behind, so that's probably why there's a loss of suction. The filter, let's check the filter. Okay, that's looking quite mucky already without even checking it fully, so let me just get this out. Yeah, that needs washing as well, so that's gonna have to be done. Okay, when I was trying to use the hose, it was basically blocked, it wouldn't suck up anything. So let's check the U-bend and see what's in there. Oh, there's a screw in there, but nothing actually blocking it. So let's check further up. Valve pipe, no, that's all clear. Let's switch it on here. It will probably have suction because the head had suction, but that's all good. So the problem must lie in the actual hose itself or the wand. So the hose isn't gonna be blocked because the wand goes inside the hose. So it's definitely with the wand. If I just pull the hose off, yes, we should now have suction. Yep. Right, so looking inside the wand, let's see if there's a blockage. Yep, there is, so that needs clearing out. Luckily with the DC07, you can reverse the suction on the wand. So it should self clean itself. So if I put the hose cup on the other end, it should basically self clean the blockage out. Anything that'll get sucked up, you'll see it coming into the bin. Ooh. A load of confetti to celebrate that it's unplugged. Wicked. Oh yeah, because this is the HEPA model, it's got the HEPA filter, that's cool. So, let me just pop that back in. There's a bit of damage on one side of the clip. There we go, that's insecurely now. That's all good. Now let's sort out the actual cleaner head, which is the second issue with the vacuum, because that's not 100% perfect, is it? Okay, so you get a coin and you remove the sole plate by turning the three plastic screws a quarter of a turn. It's probably the best thing to use, to be honest, because if you use a screwdriver, it will just damage these plastic screws or fasteners, what you want to call them. Anyways, this belt under here, yeah, it's got a lot of slack in it. It's not tight enough. You need the belt to be tight because otherwise your brush bar is going to slow down, especially on thicker carpets or even thinner carpets that actually... Um, you know when the vacuum's got strong suction and the brush bar is trying to spin, it's going to slow down, so that needs a new belt. Anyway, so I pull the belt off, the actual brush bar can now be removed. Comparing it to a new belt, you can see the difference in how much it's stretched out. So I'll put in the new one in now, okay? And then you stretch it over the motor spindle. Let me just see if I can do this with my fingers, hold on. There we go. And now that should spin perfectly fine. Yep. Right, so now you make sure that the sole plate is fitted correctly. I know the sole plate is damaged, but it's still usable enough. It could be a lot worse. I've seen plenty of worse examples of non-clutched DC07, 04 and 14 sole plates that are completely beyond use. Okay, so the sole plate's now fitted. I know it's a bit damaged, but it will do for now. It's not like it absolutely needs a sole plate. It's still usable, it's got some life in it for now. And last but not least, we've got the filter. So I'm gonna change the filter for a better one. Cause that is actually quite manky. You, you can wash these, but 
you know, because I've got a spare one, I'm gonna just fit a spare one. Okay, you can see the difference in the old and the new filter. This is slightly used, hence a slight amount of dust, but you can see a huge contrast, right? It's quite gray when it should be blue. So new filter fitted and ready to go. And now we have a perfectly working DC07. HEPA. Now let's see if it actually works properly now. So it could actually pick up these little bits that you can see on the floor. Now we've got suction at the one. Oh yeah. Now it's working properly. So now you can see the brush bar marks in the carpet that shows actually gonna separate the carpet pile and actually deep clean. It couldn't do that before. So now it's working absolutely fine. So that's the Dyson DCO7 all repaired.